I'm Talib Starks, and I approve this message. It's like a civil war going on with black people, and there's two sides. It's black people, and there's niggas. <laughs> and niggas have got to go. Every time black people want to have a good time, and then ass niggas fuck it up. Three shots. <laughs> then chaos. <laughs> What started as a night of fireworks and patriotism <laughs> turned to frenzy and panic. Viewer Tommy D brought out his phone to tape two girls fighting. It happened about a quarter after 11 near Rosa Park Circle, just yards away from the concert stage. At times, you can hear the crowd egging the girls on. Give the girls right hook. Come, on. Come on, they say as a group of spectators start to build. Then one woman comes in, swinging her right fist into the fray. The fight moves across the street. D follows this girl in the yellow who seems to be in the middle of it all. Seconds later, more jump in. Some watch, and a couple capture it on camera. They almost catch into like all of them, dude. Things seem to calm down until the last fight, three minutes after it all started, then three shots. And chaos. For the second year in a row, a celebration in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to commemorate the end of slavery in the U.S., the annual Juneteenth celebration has ended with several violent incidents caught on video. A young woman was arrested after police say she struck an officer in riot gear in the face while authorities were trying to break up a fight. In another incident, a large crowd attacked at least two cars and one of the drivers was pulled from his vehicle and beaten. The crowd also started pounding on the vehicle. Yeah, they just kicked him in the head. Now he's down. As we continue to follow developing news of the shootings downtown, police say 10 people were shot following the Indiana Black Expo event. Just before 9.30 Saturday night, chaos erupted in downtown Indianapolis as crowds left Indiana Black Expo summer celebration events. Before the mayhem, the sound of gunfire sent people out in the streets. In a matter of seconds, you can see hundreds of people scattering in different directions as Metro officers moved in. Investigators told 24 Hour News 8 several shots were fired east of Illinois near Maryland streets. Metro police said five people were shot at that location. They also reported two other people were possibly shot at that same location, but ran from the scene. Throughout the night, while we were on the air with breaking news coverage, the number of people shot climbed from four, then five, seven, and then eight. Eight victims. Then, just before midnight, Metro officers responded to another shooting, bringing the total of injured to nine. Today we're uh, just a couple of blocks away from the crime scene. This is about as close as we can get with our live truck with all these parade goers here and the crime investigation underway. One witness, though, telling me that he saw parade goers scramble, running for their lives after the gunfire rang out. We still don't know right now what sparked the shooting. One parade goer, though, says it started with an argument. So much of the crowd that had come out to watch the Martin Luther King Day Parade was still outside here enjoying the day when shots rang out. Police call this another senseless shooting on a day set aside for peace. Hey, I love black people, but I hate niggas, boy.